guys of United Rock Nations. So we are in amazing company with Frederick of Opeth. How are you? Very good. It's a nice warm day, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> my face. Absolutely. Uh, it's not the first time for you at the Hellfest. No. It's, it's amazing. It's always it's, every year you see it. Seems like it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Absolutely, absolutely. No, it's massive. Um, let's talk about Sorceress, the latest album, the, the previous album. Sure. Uh, it has been well received by critics in general. Uh, did you expect such a, a success? No, not really. We just did the best we could do for the, this of album course. and uh, we hope for the best. And it, you know, it also did a great work, job with the, the album too, you know, marketing. So I guess it was, people like the songs, so that's great. Absolutely. Um, Opeth has always made musical changes during his career, um, avoiding repetition, without repetition. Uh, do you think that uh, there is a new uh, turning point could be necessary uh, for the new songs for the future album? Do you think that it's time to change something again? For the future, you mean? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I would say it's going to be different. I try to be a bit different every time. I reckon Michael does. <laughs> Right, majority of the yeah, stuff. Exactly. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we haven't really talked about anything yet. More than it should be like a complex album. Oh, so. But you plan to. to how do you define that, I don't know. But um, it's a bit too early to say. The Sorcerer's album is still quite young. Yes, absolutely. It hasn't been out uh, even a year yet, so. Exactly. We still have a. Some touring to do, you know, but um, I can tell like Michael is getting a bit itchy in the fingers. He starts to get anxious and start writing again. So, and you contributed also to the, the arrangements of the songs. Yeah, like solos and stuff like that, and some stuff. And we co-wrote one track and the other together for Strange Brew as well. Mm -hmm. uh, due to to these musical changes uh, during the career of Opet. Uh, how do you manage to choose a, a great set list uh, for between the old type, the old songs and the new songs when you play live? Because the sound is different, the musicality is different from the songs. How do you manage to choose to pick the songs on, on your career when you, when you play live? It's difficult because it's uh, 12 albums now. Uh, yes. Literally we want to try to cover every album with one song from each album. With different styles, uh, different... Yeah, and it sounds. I think the new stuff and the old stuff goes well together. It creates an interesting dynamic in the set, I think. And uh, maybe some stuff is quite different, but still it, it works in a good way. I think the new stuff becomes a bit more heavier live than on the albums, I would say. Yes. Um, but uh, it's always difficult. We always try to do something different. But some songs like Deliverance, we tend to keep some favorites. Exactly. You know, and also, you want to promote the latest album, of course. So you play more songs of the latest? Three songs from Sorceress. Of course. But they're a bit shorter than some of the other older songs that might be 12 minutes. Stuff like that. <laughs> exactly, yes. It's, it's about finding a good balance between the old and the new. And it's not difficult. Like when you play main set today, maybe it's 65% old stuff and 35 new, something like that. Um, the last DVD. Roundhouse tape that uh, was released nine years ago. Uh, since the band, actually, if I may, we made a DVD. I wasn't in, in the band at that time, but we did a Royal Albert Hall after that. Yes, but it's, it's, it's different. Um, uh, it's not a, a, um, a venue, a classical venue or a festival. Okay. Um, do, do you plan to publish a new DVD on, I don't know, uh, to film a, 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 a festival, to film in a, in a big venue? Yes, we actually did film a month ago in Colorado in ah. a great amphitheater called Red Rocks. Yes. I don't know if you know about it, but it's uh, located 2,000 meters above sea level and it's uh, uh, outside Denver in Colorado. Oh, I think it's, uh, it's up in the mountains. I saw, I saw a Joe Bonamassa concert there probably, no? Yeah, yeah I guess so. Yeah. It's in Long the Mountain. Uh, yeah, you have two it's a big stage lives event. in between. Stage, like the, yeah, uh, yes, we filmed that show and um, we're planning on uh, doing a DVD on it. And 
when it will be released. Uh, it's not confirmed. We, I don't know yet. <laughs> but, uh, maybe sometime next year, I would reckon. Depends. Between the, the, the previous album and the new one, probably. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Um, let's talk about your, your influences um, as a guitarist. Um, yeah. What's your influences uh, um, from when, from where you came uh, musically and when you were a kid, what kind of music you, you listened to? First it was kind of a mom and dad listening to Beatles, Stones, Rolling Stones, Presley, stuff like that. Oh. Uh, Swedish stuff that you might not know about. Uh, but then when I discovered hard rock it was ACDC, KISS, kind of story there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then of course, Rainbow, Black Knot at the time, it was 172, so it's Stargazer album with D was yeah. like one of the first that got me into more heavier stuff. Exactly. Yes. And also Dio, Ozzy Osbourne, uh, Gary Moore, all that classic stuff. And Mike Schenke group, uh, Scorpions, Luna Roth, the First era. What is your first also, concert? Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. What is the first concert you you, you did well, when, uh, when you were young, when you were a kid? What's the first concert? The heavy metal or hard rock concert? It was actually a Kiss concert, but it was when they unmasked. So it was oh, it's maybe a Kiss it up or tour. Uh, Animalize. Animalize tour, yes. I was just ten years or nine years. And it was oh, scary. <laughs> the second show was, I believe, could have been Iron Maiden. Hours later. That was like tour, yes. Except Metal Hard Tour was one of the artists. Fantastic. But how is your, your feeling at that time when you see Case or Iron Maiden? It's magic, you know. I remember seeing Maiden at the Somewhere in Time tour where they had this, when they had to blow up. Yeah, yes. That was just fine though. And also the Turf tour with Judas Priest. You never forget those shows when you look at your kids. And that's the reason why you decide to play guitar and then. Yeah, it was. I was uh, Ace Freely and Angus Young were probably the key where I took it up and also where I grew up. It was kind of popular with guitar playing at the time. It was when sort of like Edwin Hale and Lingby and all these amazing players around the But Hammond is different from Ace Freely or it's more technical? Yeah, absolutely. But the day I realized I wanted to get, you know, you have to practice, you can do this other trick, you can use you can't just lift up a guitar and play. It was when I saw this uh, metal non-stop show from Germany. Best should call it another. It was a classic thing that went on TV in Sweden. And there was bands like Schenker, yeah. Maiden, Priest, Ozzy, uh, Scorpions, all the classic bands. And also Michael Schenker. And he had this great tone, and that was kind of that definitely lit a spark for me. That oh, can you really do that with a guitar? And then after that was like Eddie and Pingree and Blackmore and more technical, Gary Moore, yes, more and, Rolf, yes. and, and then Frank, and, Frank and, and then you begin to play, listen to this kind of music. Yeah, absolutely. And then you just dig deeper and deeper and listen back to seventy stuff, and then of course new methods evolved. That's the best. Absolutely. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we know much more about your influences and the beginning uh, of your life musically and also about the new DVD probably, I don't know. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the information and hope to see you. A great show tonight. Uh, Looking forward to it. And uh, thank you very much, Pleasure. guys. And see you soon with Opeth Live and the new DVD. Bye. Hello, guys. I'm Frederick from Opeth and you're watching and listening to United Rock Nations.